A niche versus no niche on YouTube, which is better? There is no right and there is no wrong. I'm about to tell you why. A niche versus no niche on YouTube. Now, a niche is defined in many different ways. For example, if you are a cooking channel, that's a niche. If you are a gaming channel, that's a niche. However, you might be the type of person that would rather have a variety channel, okay? And I know from experience, because I've got a variety channel. I make a lot of movies. Well, yeah, movies. <laughs> I make a lot of gaming content, music tutorials. I've got a fair few, I've got four. However, I find that people who niche down, for example, you're a cooking channel, people who niche down, they tend to run out of video ideas because they've put themselves in one box for so long. Now, you might have an audience that expects you to make cooking videos. I expect you to be like Gordon Ramsay. Show me how to make this pasta. Your audience, depending on how big it is, expects you to make cooking videos. Now, for someone like me, I can't cook. I'm not a chef. I don't pretend to be one. I am a musician, a filmmaker, and a gamer. So, what I've done is I've incorporated all of that into my main channel on YouTube, this channel. And my audience, a lot of them are gamers. A lot of them watch a lot of the Mario stuff that I do. However, I've also got people that like my music videos. And the way I look at that is, that's great because I have two things in my life that I love more than anything else on this earth. That is creating content and making music. Guys, in case you're wondering, I've been a musician my whole life, except I never really focused enough. I couldn't focus enough until probably 10 years ago. So... I've been playing the piano for about seven years, playing guitar for about five years. But when I say I've always been a musician, I've always listened to music. I love to sing, I love to dance. I'm in the middle of a TAFE course at the moment. I'm just taking a break from it with work. And I thought to myself, how can I incorporate what I love most of all to my YouTube channel. And that's one thing that is very important when you very first start creating videos is you have to really define what it is that you want to talk about. Now, this video, what I'm doing now, a lot of you would probably say to yourselves, wait a second, you're a musician and you're a gamer. Why are you making a vlogging channel? No, sorry. Why are you making a vlogging video? Well, at the end of the day, guys, I find that if there's something on your mind and you want to talk about it, or you want to be a bit inspirational, then don't worry about whether it's right or wrong. Create what you want to create. So, I'm going to boil it down like this. I am a, a niche variety channel. So, like I said... Music, filmmaking, gaming. That's a lot. That's three niches. However, I have managed to incorporate all of that into one solid niche. And the way I've done it is it took a lot of it took a lot from me to really think about. The way I've done it is Think about, okay, look, I love making gaming content, but how can I also be entertaining as well? And that was where the music came in. And I thought, well, maybe what I could do is create some music content as well, just break it up a bit. Now, that for me is one of the most important things we can do as creators, is variety. Now, if you are a money channel, you're a finance channel, then making videos about cooking 
or you're playing a game might not make much sense, might not make any sense. So in my opinion, a variety channel will work just fine. However, will you grow as quick as you would if you stuck to one specific niche? No, probably not. I'm just gonna tell you straight. Guys, I have been working on my YouTube channel for around a year and over a year and a half. And I have just now started getting momentum. So when you see videos of, I've got church videos, I've got graveyard videos, I've got music, editing tutorials, you name it, I've got it. What I've had to do is organize my channel over another channel. So I've got two YouTube channels now. And the second one will be filmmaking tips and tricks. Also, a bit of vlogging. However, I'm finding that I'm in a really weird place right now because I've grown such a large audience now on this channel that it's hard for me to take some of the videos that I already have and put them over to another channel. It's very hard for me to do that. However, it's not impossible. And the way I look at it is I would rather get something done my way and get something done to really inspire audiences than not do anything at all. Now, some of you would probably ask yourselves, well, what's the secret? How do you grow on YouTube? What, how is it possible? One thing, one very, very important thing. Make content be consistent. That's how I've grown my channel. And I'm not gonna say it's gonna happen today or it's gonna happen tomorrow, it takes time. For me, it's taken me over a year and a half, like I said. But that's where a variety channel will be great for you. You can vlog, you can game, whatever you wanna do. And then over time, your audience will tell you when it grows, hey, this is the kind of content that we like, can you make more of it? So for me, it's weird. I'm still in that spot where my audience likes what I'm doing. However, I still haven't identified yet with the people that I want to identify with. And I like that idea. I like the fact that I don't have to worry about getting dressed up all the time to be in front of the camera. Because at the end of the day, that's one thing that will get in the way of your success as a creator. It does not matter how good your hair looks. It doesn't matter how good your clothes look. Obviously, yes, you want to be presentable. But in reality, it doesn't really matter. That's the small stuff. What matters is the content that you deliver. Now... I have noticed that I've updated some of my YouTube thumbnails. I've really, really put some more effort into my thumbnails. And guess what? My channel's really started taking off because of that. So I'm thinking to myself, hmm, maybe that's the secret. The secret is putting more time into your thumbnails. Another thing I want you to think about too, when you create your videos, what's the first thing someone that clicks on your video sees? The cover. And if the cover doesn't look very good, they're not gonna click on it. So what I would recommend you do, especially if you're just starting, learn how to create good thumbnails. Don't worry about being great straight away. It takes time. Like I said, I'm still going. Just create thumbnails and test them out. And that's what I would do if I was starting again. I would think about how I've created my thumbnails. What can I do to really amplify my thumbnails? That way, my audience can see, hey man, 
this thumbnail jumps out the page. It jumps through the screen. I want to watch. That's another key to growth is create good thumbnails. All right, you guys. Well, like I said, in my opinion, it's about being creative. Don't put yourself in one niche unless you absolutely have to or you really want to. Because when you niche down on one thing, it's a long-term process. Like I say, if you're going to be a cooking channel, then you really have to commit to that. See, for me, I struggle with commitment. So I find that music, gaming, filmmaking works just fine for me. All right, you guys, well, just create content. All right, well, if you like the video, make sure to hit the subscribe button, turn on the notification bells. Oh, and to all those people that left me a really, really good comment, thank you very much from that. for that. From the bottom of my heart, I read them. Thank you, and I really hope you guys can still stay inspired. All right, well, a longer video. Guys, dream big and work hard. That's what it's about. And success will come when it's meant to. Bye for now.